for Excellence in Arts and Culture. The Gleaner Company honors the Edna Manley College of the Visual and Performing Arts. The college has been around for several years now, 35 years or so, and uh, we have been the chief uh, institution in, uh, in training, education and training in the arts. Oh, um, Edna Manley started as a cultural training center, you know, and uh, it, it, it brought together all the schools of the arts. And uh, um, through 1976, uh, through 19, the, the 1990s, um, it has done, you know, quite uh, significant work um, in, in terms of training of artists right across the Caribbean. Um, because of the work that it has been doing uh, in, in the 1990s, uh, it was upgraded to a tertiary institution and uh, um, uh, was renamed Edna Manley College in honor of that um, cultural icon and uh, what you could, who you could call the mother of uh, modern Jamaican art, Edna Manley. And uh, since then, uh, the college has been uh, training arts, artists in all genres of art in all um, areas of art. Um, we have been training art teachers and uh, um, we have recently um, initiated a number of degree programs. So we are now um, offering degrees, undergraduate degrees um, in all areas of the arts. Let, let me um, first address the whole matter of art not being able to sustain the way of life, you know, because um, that is a that is one of those lies that need to be um, dispensed with, you know. And if you know, notice what is happening in the world now, cultural industries are really taking over. Um, in the areas of the arts, uh, you know, um, lots of countries are driving their economy through um, the works of the artists. You see, and the art spreads, you know, um, not only in terms of performance in the stage or painting the canvas, you know, or, or you know, but it, there are a number of of, um, of works in the area of the arts. You know, this video work that is currently being done, you know, um, even with this interview, is a part of the whole um, cultural industries. The young people who have come together to put on Manifesto Jamaica were trained in all different areas, some in journalism, some in um, architecture, some in engineering and such the like. They have discovered and realized, you know, um, and I'm glad that is happening sooner than later, that the arts is driving the economy, you know, um, and consequent in which they have come together um, to, to put on Manifesto Jamaica, you know, bring recognition to the to the arts. In trying to get a, a, a greater perspective of the arts, you see, come next year, 2011, we will be having a, a conference, you know, um, Arts, a Catalyst for Caribbean Development. And what we are doing is inviting um, our artists and, uh, and scholars from right around the Caribbean, you know, for discussion and conversation on, um, on the arts and its impact, you know, as a critical and important area of study. In the Glena Company, I'm sure, you know, in terms of um, putting out quality paper, it's not just about the printing, but it's about the layout and the visual impact that it gives to your customer. So the artist plays a very critical role and mark you from start to finish, because you have the literary art, your writers, we don't really, you know, um, uh, provide that at the Edmonton College, but in terms of your layout, your graphics, and all the other components that makes a quality newspaper, comes out of the arts. This has been a 2010 Gleaner Honor Awards presentation.